Hello, this is Louisville Dupree, your question of the day news reporter. Every day I go into the streets of Jefferson County asking people a different question. Today's question is both thought-provoking and challenging. What is the square root of the cotangent of a right triangle to the 16th power? No, that might be too hard. Let's see. Today's question is an interesting one. If you were colorblind, what would your favorite color be? No, that won't do either. Oh, here's a good one. Do you love Jesus? Yes, an excellent question. No, I better not bring up Jesus. That could be too controversial and even offensive to some. I got it. Instead of asking about Jesus, I'll change it to something everybody likes. Do you love M&Ms? Yes. Do you love M&Ms? That's perfect. Who doesn't love M&Ms? Okay, here goes. Excuse me, Louisville Dupree, question of the day news reporter. Tell me, do you love M&Ms? Well, you see here, I ain't never tried them their M&Ms. They look really interesting, but I'm afraid I'd have to give up too many things if I liked them too much. No, I don't like anything that has to do with chocolate. I don't even like the M&M commercials. They're creepy. I guess so, but I don't eat them much. Nothing matters more than playing video games. Besides, it's hard to eat M&M's when you need both hands on your game controller. No, and I wish M&M lovers would just leave me alone. If others want to eat them, that's fine for them, but stop offering M&M's to everyone else. Um... I don't believe MMs really exist. I mean, I've seen an empty wrapper before, but that's not really proof. I think the wrapper was just something a bunch of people printed to fool others into thinking that candy is actually real. I sure do. There's nothing I love more than my MMs. I talk about them all the time. Well, I mostly eat Butterfingers and Snickers, but everyone knows how much I love my MMs. I liked M&M's as a kid. I ate them almost every week, but then I kind of drifted away from them as I got older. I started hanging out with people who just wouldn't touch them, so I stopped eating them. I haven't tried them yet, but I will later. There's just lots of other snacks I want to sample first. I still have plenty of time for M&M's before I die. interested in M&M's. I know some people who say they love M&M's, but they drop them on the ground and don't pick them up. And sometimes they throw them at people and laugh about it. I may never buy an M&M, but if that's how you act when you love them, then hey, I'm just as good as an M&M lover as they are. I do love them. M&M's are my favorite, but I pick out all but the blue and orange ones. I won't eat them. You don't have to love them all to love M&M's. It's fine to pick and choose only the ones that work for you. Who has time for M&M's? I work hard, and when I have a free moment, I don't want to spend all of my time with my hand in the candy bag. Um. Who would want to eat a candy that was introduced in the 40s? M&M's are outdated and not relevant to my life today. No way. I've seen how M&M lovers look at me and talk behind my back, acting like they're better than I am. You think they're, they've never eaten anything but M&M's their entire lives. I'm sure quite a few of them have had a Twinkie or two in their life. No. M&M's require too much of a commitment to one letter. I mean, who decided all M&M's should have the letter M on them? Shouldn't I be free to eat candy with any letter on it I want? Well, I don't eat them much, but me and M&M's, we got our own thing going. No, I don't think you need M&M's like some people say you do. You know, you can love bonbons, or ho-hos, or ice cream even. All roads lead to sweetness. What was the question again? I'd rather not say. Well, there you have it, folks. A simple question with some unexpected results. Maybe no question or topic is safe. So, if you're going to come across as being controversial and maybe even offensive to some, then why not ask the question you really want to know? So, this is Lulabelle Dupree, and I want to know, do you love Jesus?